Good afternoon. My name is Zach Costas. And I'm Nadine DeJesus. Welcome to the third episode of Boomin' Bloomin' News. We'll keep you updated on things happening here on campus, as well as keep you entertained with different shows that everyone can enjoy. From spin-offs of your favorite TV shows to features of the different places and events on campus, Boomin' Bloomin' News has it all. That's right, Nadine. Speaking of spin-offs, have you ever seen MTV Cribs? Of course I have. Is there a new season? There's actually something even better. MBS Cribs takes us straight into the homes and dorm rooms of those members of MBS. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Kyle Hancock. This is another episode of MBS Cribs. I'm here at apartment 3B, residence of Dana Shirley. Let's give her a knock and check out her crib. Hey! Hey Dana, I'm Kyle Hancock. Your couch, a nice comfy chair. We decked it out with some lights. We put plenty of pictures of all our good times here. We're all juniors, so we've had plenty of experience here at college. We added some pumpkin decorations to be a little more Halloween, bring a little spirit to the apartment. Here in the kitchen, we are blessed to each have our own specific cabinet. We all store our own personal food in there, and we all take our turns with the fridge, which is nice. Um, some of us choose to put our own fridge in our own room. Um, we do not have a dishwasher, so we have everything hand washed. But we do have a stove, which we use quite often to make dinner, kinds of things like that. And then we have ourselves a toaster oven and a microwave. Okay, you know, just feeding my fish over here, Manny and Mel. They're the pets of apartment 3B. So, yeah, they're pretty cool. Just swimming in there. The best part is, though, this little LED light that we have, nice established right here. <laughs> Um, we each have our own room, which is nice. You know, we have a nice desk to accompany it. Comes with a dresser and a bookshelf, which is always nice and convenient. And then the nice part about this, we have this lovely closet down here, which holds all of my clothes. All right, so if we come down the hall, we are lucky with two bathrooms, so three of us share. This is my bathroom here. It's kind of clean, simple, but we keep it very clean, nice and organized. Um, we have a shower, bathroom, we have plenty of storage up above and below the sink, which is always nice. So, yeah, it's nice to think about. So is that everything? No, I have one more surprise. I'm about oh, okay. okay. All right, come on out here, check out this view. Wow, look at that view. So what do you do out here? Well, at night sometimes, if we had a stressful day, we like to come out here, enjoy the nice weather and the pretty stars, and it's a nice area to just hang out and chill. Well, Dana, thanks for uh, letting us into your home today. Of course, no problem. Thanks for checking out my crib. Awesome. Well, that about wraps things up. Make sure you join us next time on NBS Cribs. Do you wish you could find ways to make life easier? Check out this life hack segment. They might offer you some insight. Hey guys, I'm Caitlin here with Life Hacks, bringing you easier ways to simplify your life. For example, have you ever dropped a small object and couldn't find it? We have a simple and easy life hack for you. All you have to do is take the hose of a vacuum, slip a pair of pantyhose over top of it, and turn it on. Simple as that. Thanks, Kaylin, for that useful and clever life hack. I'm Charlotte Paparella. And I'm Gabby Loyello. And we're here with more life hacks to make your life easier. Did you know that chocolate milk can actually give you more energy than an average energy drink? That's awesome, Gabby. And speaking of lasting longer when you're working out, if you put your candles in the freezer, they'll burn longer. Were you ever lost or, you know, you didn't know where your car was after going to a store or an event? Well, when you park your car, just drop a pin on your Google Maps, and when you're coming out of wherever you are, just follow us. When you're going for a run, use the jog.fm app, and it will select a music playlist based on the pace that you're running. Speaking of working out, Charlotte, did you ever get a strain in the back of your neck doing sit-ups? 
Well, if you do, if you just put your tongue on the roof of your mouth while doing them, it'll take the pain away. Shoes too small, just put on three pairs of socks, put on the shoe, and blow dry it for 10 minutes, and then when you put them back on, they'll fit perfectly. Thanks for listening to our life hacks, and I hope they're as useful to you as they were to us. I love fall. From scarves to seasonal Starbucks drinks, it really has some of my favorite things. You know what I love about fall? What? The Husky Pride showed at homecoming weekend. From crowning the kings and queens, to floats, to football, it's definitely one of the best weekends of the fall semester. Let's take a look at this year's homecoming. Brace yourself. He's about to break. I'm here, I'm on site. <laughs> I'm here today with Girls Track Dancing. We're here dancing to Bang Bang, and then we have songs from all different generations to go with the theme of the Let's head to Husky Sports Center for updates on your favorite Husky teams. Hi, I'm your host, Ashaya, and alongside me, I have Max and Alex, and you're watching Husky Sports Center. Today, we'll be talking about Bloomsburg Athletic. So here's a weekly recap. Here's Max and Alex with Bloomsburg Football Two Minutes Drill. Bloomsburg football took on Shippensburg on September 27th, beating the Red Raiders by a score of 38-30. to Alex, all I have to say is it's about time they got a win against this team. Defense had another touchdown this week, which was a huge momentum swing for the Huskies. Defensive captain Justin Shirk created the force fumble, allowing Dilling Stair to recover the fumble and take a 7-3 lead. Now, Bloomsburg would never trail this game again. Right, Max. The defense came up real big on that fumble, easily considered the turning point in the game for the Huskies. Another key contributor, in my opinion, was wide receiver DJ McFadden. He recently transferred from Orange Coast College, where he averaged 21.5 yards per catch. So he's kind of a big play guy. He came up big in this one with four catches for 127 yards and two long catches to help set up scoring drives in the game versus the Red Raiders. His 44-yarder was actually the longest catch for BU this far this season. DJ is definitely a spark plug for this team, Alex, but McFadden was not the only one with a big game in this one. Eddie Mateo had another great day on the ground. Alex rushing for three touchdowns on the day. Mateo's now rushed for 469 yards and 11 touchdowns on the season. You know what, this kid just explodes through the hole every time he touches the ball. He truly is fun to watch. Yeah, he definitely is fun to watch, Max. Speaking of the running backs, the Huskies made a statement on the ground with 238 yards and six touchdowns against Cheney last Saturday. Eddie Mateo led the attack again with 100 yards and two touchdowns, including his 31-yard rush that put the Huskies up 14 to nothing early in the first. That is right, Alex. This game was a complete domination by the Huskies, winning by a score of 41 to 7. Bloomsburg has now won 25 straight games against Cheney and eight consecutive games on the road. Let's hope the Huskies keep their streak alive this Saturday when they take on Millersville for the homecoming game. Now let's take a run into cross country. This past week, women's cross country team finished fifth place and the men's team finished 18th place. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah, after taking seventh in the opener at Slippery Rock, Kyle Phillips comes up leading the team again in Louisville to help the Huskies get the 18th place. The senior is definitely taking the charge. 
You know, I look at this kid's finishing times and just don't understand how he's still 18th. The competition must be tough. Agreed. The men's soccer team played twice this past week, defeating Nyack 5 0 and tying with Willing Juzik 1 1 in double overtime. Five different players scored in the Nyack win, making it the third time this season the team scored five goals in the game. Yeah, the Huskies team looked really promising with an early goal from Anthony Serta in the men's matchup, but they couldn't pull out the W in this one, and they ended up with the draw. Yeah, Alex, this game kicked off to a wild start. Spencer Conrad dribbled down the field on a one-on-one -on -one opportunity and would just shoot wide. Luckily, Serta's score would come not even a minute after. Women's field hockey won his one game of the week, 4-3 over Mansfield. Candace Smith had an assist and a goal to lead the offense. Now 3-5 on the year, Bloomsburg looks to turn their record around this Saturday, visiting East Strasburg. And that's another edition of Husky Sports Center. I'm your host, Ashaya. I'm Max. And I'm Alex. See you next time. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Caitlin Corelli takes us behind the scenes of an excellent resource for students and families in the Bloomsburg area. Big city. Hey Huskies, I'm Caitlin Corelli and I'm here at the Women's Center, an amazing resource for students and families. Let's take a closer look at the Women's Center today on Behind Bloom. The Women's Center is located on 111 Market Street, right up from the Town Fountain. The Women's Center is an amazing resource for all students and families. Their mission is to provide assistance to victims of sexual abuse and domestic violence. Their services include emotional and practical support, legal representation in abuse proceedings, and a 24-hour crisis hotline. All services are completely free and confidential as well, and the faculty's doors are open to anyone who needs them. The Women's Center also provides volunteer opportunities for anyone in the community, with a wide range of options to fit any volunteer's needs. Direct volunteers work directly in contact with victims coming to the Women's Center. After going through training and completing background checks, these volunteers can do anything from staffing the hotline to providing in-person counseling for children and adults. If direct volunteering isn't for you, you can always apply for non-direct volunteering, which includes hanging posters, filing papers, and even reading to children in the shelter. The Women's Center also offers internships in areas such as education, accounting, medical advocacy, legal advocacy, and shelter work. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault or domestic abuse, remember that you are always welcome here. No matter your age, gender, or sexual orientation, the Women's Center is always open to you. 
And that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Zach Costas. And I'm Nadine DeHazy. We'll see you next time on Boomin' Bloomin' News.